Hi, uh, today I thought I'd go over how to uh, SSH on a Cisco Catalyst 1300 switch or a Cisco Catalyst uh, switches for small businesses. So first, uh, you want to, once you unbox the switch, you want to uh, more than likely plug it into an isolated network. And the uh, default IP address for this switch is going to be 192.168.1.254. And then it'll take you to the default landing page. However, if you plug the switch into the network, uh, since the switch is defaultly configured to use DHCP, it will assign a different IP address to the switch. And you'll know it's uh, assigned a static IP address to the switch. Um, there's a little green light in the front of the switch. That green light will be showing a solid uh, if the IP address has changed from the default. If the green light is blinking, the default IP address is going to be that 192.168.1.254. So what I suggest you do if you plug it into the network to find the switch's IP, you're going to want to get a console cable, a, a laptop, and a dr FTDI driver chipsets for that console cable and I'll put those in the description below. You're going to want to console in to on whatever ser whatever com port it's using and you're going to use the default baud rate of 115200 for this switch and that'll get you your IP address cuz you'll be able to console in and run the uh, command to find the IP address which I'll put in the description below that command as well however let's uh, get started with the uh, SSH configuration so you're going to want to get into the switches IP if you're using the GUI in this case mine is .103 and then you'll come to this login screen you're going to want to enter the username and password. Now the default username and password for this switch is going to be the username is going to be Cisco and the password is going to be Cisco. So I'll go ahead and log in. I use LastPass. I would highly recommend LastPass as well because uh, there's too many passwords to remember these days. So when you first get in the switch you'll see a landing page like this and it'll be set on basic here in the top right here I um I always set this to advanced so I would highly recommend putting a static IP address on the switch you click change device IP address it'll already have this VLAN here I've already changed it but you'll go here and edit this it'll be on dynamic IP you want to go ahead and set this to the static IP address of your choosing that's in your subnet range. Now uh, you want to get SSH set up right away so to do that go to security actually first let's go to administration and user accounts and you can create other users specifically for admin or SSH. Just click this little plus button here. And you can assign a user and a password with whatever access you need that user to have. So after you sign the user, make sure you hit apply. And then also make sure you, if you want it permanently saved in the uh, running config and startup config, press this save. There'll be a little save icon pop up here show you that now permanently save the file configuration click the save icon um, so let's go ahead and 
get SSH set up now. So to do that, go to security. Go to TCP UDP services and enable this SSH server. And go ahead and click apply after you enable it. It'll put a TCP of IP, IPv4 on port 22 and IPv6. So then after you after you apply the TCP UDP services, um, you want to go under SSH server, SSH user authentication. I'm using password right now because I don't want to set up a uh, public key on every computer I use to get into SSH, especially during the initial testing phases. So I have checked SSH user authentication by password and I have session logging set. And then once you have that configured and done, go ahead and click apply. Now, after that is done, uh, remember your IP address and remember your password you just set. So we're going to go ahead and initiate the SSH connection by using whatever SSH client you want to use. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and be using Moby Xterm. Um, I already have it set up. And you'll get to a screen like this. Um, normally you would have to type enable, but since I already have admin privileges under my JSON username, I don't have to do this in this, this case. So to make any config change, just go ahead and type config. But that's a whole different video on switch commands and everything. And you can also find that in the, at the user manual. But that's it for today. I appreciate you guys for watching. I hope this uh, video helps anybody out who's trying to figure out SSH on a Cisco Catalyst 1300 switch. Thanks.